want to make sure I'm not coming onto an idea that already existed. Mine cart cannon dwarf fortress. How do we have a ghost? How is there a ghost for a roosh? Stocks, corpses, tab. There is a skeleton out there, but it's not a roosh. So why is a roosh killing people? Oh, that's like the name Turkey, isn't it? Do we not have enough graves? Do we have an roosh body, but no graves for him? I think we fill up all the graves again. How? Fuck it. Make 15 rock coffins. I don't care. Stop trying to kill each other. Rankart mass accelerator from 2015. If it can, if you can, if this can work even with liquids, because the idea is that you get it to crash. I know that that's how the cannon works, but what if you need to unload it? Do we, we don't have a way to unload a cannon, do we? Trolling traffic, switching. I knew there was a way to do switching. That's going to be key. Checkpoint effect. On standard uses. Quantum, garbage, water, portable drains, storing perishable goods, basic repeater, blah, 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 adventure mode, blah, 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 forging, blah, 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 doesn't quite help me. Switching. On track suggestion is doors, another first built on door, plug and turn on or off by lever, five and control the flow or automate. This may be fun. The roll of purchase card used until the person. Uh, fuck you. The Forgotten Beast, Wary Lithru Lyena, has come. A huge lizard with external ribs. It has an enormous shell and it has a gaunt appearance. Its lavender scales are oval shaped and set far apart. Beware its poisonous sting. So I have to give up what I was just looking at real quick. Where? Where is the evil? Rangers, the evil is where we don't care. It's swimming. It's swimming in water that's not related to me. Why did you bother me with this? No, I didn't kill him. I don't think. There should be no forbidden bodies. Definitely none by the name of Arush. This is stupid. Lizard with a shell equals tortoise? <laughs> I don't know, it's in the water. We can't even fight it. Like even if we were connected to that cave, we could not fight it. We have like a tunnel going down through cave networks and in the cave networks not really connected but kind of connected to us that we've seen there is the intrinsic water network and that's where he is he's hanging out in the water network what am i supposed to do with that like even if i was the brave boy right now and i just opened it up to go fight him there's no way what was happening is you just drag us in the water and kill us there's no amount of skilled fightery that enables you to fight in the water it, it just doesn't happen 
All right, we're still waiting on stop nine. Pump the water out. All right, so question. Break. Stockpile. Nope. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Break. Want you to have a stockpile link. Take from that stockpile stone. What happens if someone puts the stone in you? And when someone shows up, I gotta slow this down to step by step speed. Has this already been tasked? It has. All right, I'm doing one step speed, so it looks like it's paused, but time's going very slowly. Come on, pick up the fucking stone. All right, so it's in these somewhere. Where is it? This is where the, ch the chalk is. went nowhere that is not how that works it's off of different z levels isn't it i forgot the different z levels part of this so it's doable if you're going down maybe but yeah no if it's if you have to wait for down down motion then this doesn't work at all and i'm an idiot because it never went into the minecart. I, I overlooked the very simple thing of, you don't load minecarts that way. Duh. All right, well, this is why sometimes, sometimes I do stupid things. It would have to be on a different Z level. Duh. All of that was pointless and wasted. And once you're doing it over a different Z level, the kind of the momentum doesn't matter too much anyways. All right, we'll take this down. All right, well, that was a fun experiment there. I think there's a way to make that work, but I, I don't have the We'll say cutie right now to calculate that across z levels to see if i can make it work and even if i could most of your tra your most of your transportation is over vertical distances anyways and of course at that point when the game is doing the calculations for verticality you're trying to not make it be a cannon it's just not going to work well that that way you can drop the minecarts on top of each other but i'm not trying to do that i was trying to get their contents to transfer from one to another is a very simple physics thing which i think we already definitely knew about mother worker come on trader i need you here Um, wake up. They're going to leave. Simple tracks, ramps, hauling, roots, stop, stockpiling, departure, turn tracks up, step by step, tutorial, troubleshooting, danger, more on track, stop, automated propulsion. I know that loading the liquids. That's really what I'm trying to do. Hauling. Again, I don't want the cart to move. I wanted to see if I could get this sword without them moving. Hmm. Slightly bummed that that didn't work the way I thought it did. Is this guy here yet? There he is. 
Trade everything. What do we have from you? Are you elves? You don't have steel. Please don't be elves. You don't have grown, but you don't have steel. Are you humans? I think, I think I'm dealing with humans and I wasn't paying attention. I'll take your platinum, I guess. Do you have large? Yeah, they're humans. Ugh. I guess I'm here to make friends with you, I guess. Cool. Do you have anything I care about? Or are you just derpy humans? A silver great axe. You are definitely derpy humans. Silver battle axe. Hmm. 20,000 in profit if I give them all these. Make sure none of this is an artifact. This is just clothing. Yep. All right, I'll take your bolts. I like bolts. What else do I want from them? I want their silver bars. I'll take sterling silver. I'll take your hammer. That seems useful. I already traded for your bolts. I don't want your armor, your arrows, I mean. Um, blade, spike, 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 screw all that. How about your platinum? Trade for that. Do you have any gold? I'll trade for gold. 13,000 profit. On one hand, I want to get rid of this stuff, but I don't want to give them too much. I want there to be a reason why we're friends. Because we're the greatest of all the friendships. All right, um, Donkey, do you have any good animals? Alpaca, lead, eagle, peregrine. You know what? Yeah. We have eagles and peregrine falcons now. This, this is what we have. This is this is the dwarf life. Bumblebee venom. Bumblebee. How many bumblebees did you milk to get bumblebee venom? How does that even work? I feel like you slaughtered thousands of bees. And you're not telling me. Uh, do I want iron animals? I really don't think I do. Let's get some meat. Fuck it. Let's get some. Let's get some protein in our diets. Brought them down to 12,000. I don't want your berries. I don't want your fruit. You can't wear your clothes because you're way too big. I will take your cheese. You have good cheeses. I've heard that you have the greatest cheese of all known cheesies. Splints and crutches I don't care about. Books? Sure, let's get some books. Chicken leather cotty head? I don't trust that. Anything that says copy, I'll grab. All right, trade for that. There you go. Thank you for taking my broken down clothing, you weirdos. I said I burrow my depot so I can send the broker there when I need him. I suppose that makes sense. You, you have to go here, but I don't want to. This is your only choice in life. This is where you will be. You must be broken. All right. Um, down below, we made more coffins. Maybe we can get rid of this dead dwarf ghost. See if one of those seven coffins gets rid of them. Got any use paint? Oh, no. They push an empty wheelbarrow. Any dwarf walking will jump in and demand a ride. To avoid this decision was made long ago that empty wheelbarrows must be carried to avoid elvish type laziness. That's why dwarves carry wheelbarrows to their respective stockpile. <laughs> That's what dwarves want, not what they want to get rid of. Dwarves swarm underwear. Is, is, is this just the new facts of life that we're agreeing on? Dwarves just swarm underwear. Squirmy burrito is dismayed. Well, damn it, Squirmy, stop being dismayed. 
Did we do this a while ago? We did do this a while ago. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of you. Replace you with a wall. When you get one doors, we'll run to them to put them on. I recall the willing holes. Do you recall the willing holes? Oh, I recall the willing holes. What do you mean you can't find diorite? What is this? Shock. All right, you win that one. Those are two different stones. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, we have a lot of mine cards I don't know what to do with. Whoops. What if we just have mine cards perpetually running around the base? Is that weird? I can get to go out and loop back on itself then run backwards well no i think the way the physics would stop it wouldn't it you can't you can't impulse bi-directionally it forces it to go one so if you went the other way you'd slam into a wall um i just have too many mine carts now we can slowly dump them i guess uh, that reminds me, did that one thing ever get built? I'm gonna hook you up to a bridge. Bridge of wonder. Uses a dwarf transport system. What, the mine carts? That's never gonna work. I got any more of them beds. What if we make the mine cart machine gun? Trying to think. Technically, there could be a path up here. I would run the limit all the way around. I don't know. Again, I don't know what the purpose of that would be. It'd be funny. I would have to deconstruct all of the floors I did that to reconstruct it for a track. Are you kidding me? Fuck that. What if I did on the outside, though? That's a thought. For no reason. Maybe that would prevent people climbing a bit? It would be humorous. What the hell did I just do? Caps locks on. Okay, what if right here, I went out and we started doing tracks all the way around? So you put a minecart on, it should still work. Imagine L is a northeast ramp and T is a southeast ramp. Northeast, north to east, south to east. Okay. Then we can little, 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 little. The mine carts come from the north and the south and they get put impulse the heck to the east. Well, this should be on the outside. No dwarves should be climbing the outside. It's kind of half the idea. Build construction floor. We'll have to build a floor there for now. I didn't know if I could do this. So this one, for instance, would be south to east. This would be a southeast ramp one. Then be west to east. No, no, cancel. It would keep getting thrown off. This would never work. Screw it. You couldn't make it. Couldn't do it with that turn. It would keep slamming off the base. It would have to be internal. You need the wall so that they don't overrun the track. I wanted it on the outside, but it, the physics is not there. So that, that, that idea is ruined. Just build the wall back. It would be funny, but I would need a secondary wall outside the walls at each of the corners to prevent it from jumping track. And running on the inside of the wall doesn't do me much good. How does this go?
Or if they come off the spiral, we just yeet minecarts down their way. What? Run the minecarts down a slope on a trigger to run things over. Um, no? It wouldn't really be too useful. Yeah, we changed the Bailey. I'm not changing up the Bailey so it's one gigantic corkscrew ramp. That's insanity. That that makes no sense. A dozen screw edges. No, like, but that's not even insanity that has a purpose. What, what is, no. That is redonkulous for orders of magnitude that are unnecessary. All right, um. Suites have been built, mostly. I can order them to be engraved right now. We saw the rest of these A being engraved. We prioritized the rooms that we were going to be using at the time, but we really should get the rest of these done. These have already been engraved. This was never smooth. Really? Here we go. Um... Now, we're not getting someone to do pig iron bars. Someone was smelting earlier, but nobody's picked it up afterwards. So we have an issue. Read, labors, collapse, open up dire builders. What is that? That's furnace operating, I believe. So what is big orange doing? He's sparring because he's in the military. Well, it looks like this guy now does furnace operating as well. Big orange. Make a huge minecart jump over the Bailey? That's not gonna fix much. I got, essentially I got paid 50 cents a donut to get donuts earlier. So I just happen to have extra donuts. And I want sugar. Why'd the audio stop? Was it scared of the donut? Test. What happened to the audio? Did it crash? No, there's audio. Okay. What, it crashed because I got donuts? What the hell? That was weird. I guess so. All right, pig iron bars is now active. Huzzah. We've got tons of flux. Yeah, that's what chalk is. We got tons of flux. I might need to order a flux to be brought down here though.
have that one give to this one go bring all the chalk down i demand more flux Imagine all your dwarves on a sugar high or highly caffeinated. That would be what? Dwarf speed one one. They get super fast and they get teleport. For some reason, those are two different options. What is rotting out there anyways? Oh, is that forgotten beast from a while ago? It killed everything in the lava. Are you the forgotten beast? I just saw you go running by. Dorku. I feel like this is a horrible, horrible English forgotten beast. Oh, Dorku, the frog nearly died. Holy shit. How the hell did you get your ass kicked in these caves, you idiot? Dorku the dork frog. All right, we have more graves. These will keep the death at bay. I don't know who's not been buried, but please stop haunting me. Okay, we've got that. I'm hooking up the the dumping library dumping uh, smasher now, which I think has been connected. So I'll order that to be pulled now. We have a bunch of things here that I need to get rid of. Mm, cabinets, chairs, tables. I don't know why we have so many of these. They need to be putting people sweets. Planning mode off because I want to see what we have for cabinets. We actually have a couple. Couple is more than I anticipated having, so I'll just order all of these to get installed and get them out of my stockpile. Then we have chests. Those are made out of lime wood, so I'm ignoring them for now. Then we have tables and shares. Table says diorite earlier, which I think is what screwed me on these. We clearly have stone. It's just not diorite. Um, build table, material, stone, no. I don't want you to say diorite. I want you to say all. I'm about to uncheck diorite or no clear. There you go. Stone. Stone is good flavor. And then when that's done, I need to do hatches later, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, the mine carts from the experiment that if I thought through, I would have realized what the issue is. There we go. The Weaver's Guild's finally gone. He stopped haunting us. We still have finished trade goods to get rid of. Let's circle this. How many blocks do we have? I want to surround this with a three by three. Uh-huh. That reminds me. Active deactive. Um 
<laughs> Did any of you guys or do any of you guys watch The Mandalorian? Because that fight scene, that was kind of. I'm not spoiling! There's a fight scene, it looks amazing! Do you think that's a spoiler? Well, then you've not been paying attention. Remember that time when X character did Y to A, B, and Z? <laughs> I was going to <coughs> choke on water. <coughs> I know to be slightly careful. I was not going to lead with a spoiler. However, <coughs> I like the fight scenes. Now you got me fucking nervous. I wasn't going to do anything before and I got me nervous. I'm accidentally going to do one. So I'll be even super. We just won't talk about it. We won't talk about it. And I, I realize I get what you're saying. Mirror response now has me on edge. It's like when someone screams and now you're scared. You're like, huh? Oh. There are certain people who get attacked and who do things and then they attack. And the attacks are attacking and attacks are amazing. I like the fight scene. It's like split. <laughs> no, we will, we will not discuss anything. I do not wish to even remotely come close to spoiling. But if you haven't watched it yet, you should watch it. And why haven't you watched it really is, is the big issue. You should, you should be watching it. However, you need to watch it. I'm not judging, but you need to watch it. Um... We're not gonna talk about what I was talking about watching because the talking about watching of the watching that I was talking about may in of itself be a spoiler of what I was watching. So you watch it. No, I, I had brought up Mandalorian and it, it was made very quickly clear that there are people who have not watched the episode yet. So we will refrain from even the lightest of descriptions not because it was brought up, but because I have been told off before that there are things that I would genuinely not consider spoilers because of my ability to make assumptions of plot lines uh, may still in fact be spoilers to others. So if people have not watched it, then I'm going to actively refrain from mentioning any details because some things that I consider to be selling points other people consider to be spoilers in that regard we are going to discuss the other thing that people probably aren't watching and aren't going to watch so even if I do accidentally do a spoiler or anything involving it they are doing a show See, oh my god, you got me scared. Now I don't want to talk about anything. <laughs> You've already made me so self-conscious with one sentence. Don't spoil. No, oh, Animus. There is coming out the uh, the next season on anime of the Seven Deadly Sins. Do any of you watch the Seven Deadly Sins? Are you following the Seven Deadly Sins and or do you read the manga? The seven deadly sins. In particular, what I would like to maybe possibly discuss is the Lion Sin of Pride Escanor. If you have not read up to the latest thing and or are catching or watching it via the anime and only the anime, please make it known. Because Escanor is a badass. And I love Escanor. <laughs> And I would not want to ever ruin the might that is Escanor for anyone involving that show. Even though really the one thing to ruin isn't a thing you can ruin, at least in my opinion. See clips on YouTube of Escanor. God damn what I gotta ask you for no spoilers. I watch it. Escanor is pretty awesome though. Why do I got to ask you? 
Why do you watch everything I watch, but slowly, Art? Watch better. So... I've seen clips of YouTube on Eskinar watch like six minutes was like, all right, so Tachulu. In in the the the, the most non-spoilerly way I can. If you watch the beginning of the seven deadly sins and we're like, eh, this is man, I'll pass. I can mostly agree with you. I can. But a lot of the other characters are good and they have good stories and I like it. However, Eskinor is where it's at. So you should basically just start watching it season two because everything involving him is a maze balls and everything involving everyone else is okay. It's okay or good and it's got good plot if you like that. But really, if I were to say one character, one character only to watch from that show, it's Escanor, the Lion Sin of Pride. So, I mean, you could in fact just watch it as Coca-Cola said, just clips on YouTube. Just load up clips of YouTube and just load up Escanor fights or Escanor flexes or just search Flexanor. This character I love. I love this character. So I'm going to restrict any, I'm like, I'm not gonna do specific examples, but anything I talk about is going to be off of where I'm aware the anime is. The, the Seven Deadly Sins is about a group of mercenaries-ish that used to work for the government. Uh, it's like a lot of standard type anime shows. Everyone has unique powers. They, they all show their powers in different ways. It turns out in the past, there used to be massive wars between the different races. Humans, demons, angels, giants, elves, what have you. They all have their different strengths. They all have their different weaknesses. The main group of people, the seven deadly sins that are these mercenaries, are these representative of different races, and they all have a sin. And the sin is essentially the way to define what their major weakness is, like what their big issue is with society, what their crime is, so to speak, as well as, as part of their backstory, kind of tells you how they got their power. You have lust, greed, pride, wrath, so on and so forth. Most all of these people are fantastical races. Elves. Uh, Aid a magical doodah, things like that. They, they've all got some reason why they're super badass McGillicuddy powerful. As far as I know, I'm all, well, so, but here's the thing. There's information from the manga. The manga just finished. The, the manga's done. As far as I'm aware, the manga is done. So that's what I'm saying is I'm going to restrict anything I say to I like season one basic information shit particularly because I don't want to get confused with details the manga has given out versus details the anime has given out. Yes. Are there big titty waifus? Yes. Yes, there are. I finished too. Spoiler, big titties. So, th they're all, for, for some reason, magical, so on and so forth. And like I said, Greed, the guy who does Greed, he stole something. And his big thing is he has a power that kind of essentially lets him steal shit, but not really. And, and that's his big driving force. His big character arc is I love stealing shit and maybe perhaps I should steal shit less. Nonsense like that. Um, if, is Merlin greed? I think Merlin's greed. Merlin, not even incontinent, super powerful wizard the greed of wanting all knowledge if she is greed, which I think she is. Um, however, you get to Escanor. God, Escanor is the greatest. Escanor is the best of both worlds. Escanor is like a prince? And I know more details. I'm being vague on a lot of things, to be clear. So no one try to correct me because if you try to correct me, you might give away spoilers I'm trying to avoid, to be clear. Um... And what he is, is his sin is pride. He is very prideful, except for Escanor is not prideful. 
Escanor is a very tiny, weedy butler of a man. Flexanor is prideful. Everyone's got these powers that are kind of directly related to their backstory. Escanor's power is related to the sun. So all these things, demons, angels, they're all super powerful and shit, and they can all measure themselves, and I'm this strong, I'm that strong, so on and so forth. They're all wrong. They're all on a completely wrong scale. Escanor's power is related to the sun. The brighter the sun is, the stronger Escanor is. The closer you get to noon, the stronger Escanor is. The closer you get to midnight, the weaker Escanor is. But tied to this strength is how prideful he is. So the closer it gets to sun, uh, noon, literally like magnitudes order stronger than anything else in the show. And this is, and it's not just like, a, oh, I'm stronger now, I'm stronger now. From the first time he does any of this shit, it is just declared and no one's allowed to argue this shit. Escanor is the single strongest, but it's time-based. That's why he's not supposed to be super overpowered. But the thing is, he's so fucking strong because of it. He's so prideful. He goes from like a weedy dude who's like, oh God, please don't look at me that way, please. To literally people are declaring things and he's his counter is just, who said that? You can literally define gravity, be like, everything is held down because of gravity. And Flexinor is so prideful. He goes, I have to stay on the ground because of gravity? Who said that? And he just floats away. Like he doesn't jump away. He'll just float away. He is so prideful. The laws of existence do not apply to this man. It is the funniest shit every single time it happens because it's always comes up. Someone tries to do that fucking evil pride bow shit and they're like, oh, look what I have done. I've defeated you or you can't beat this or I have done this. And it's always the same type of sentence where, oh, I've lost because of X, Y, and Z. Who determined that? And he just doesn't. He just fucking doesn't. He, he doesn't overpower the enemy. He just, he flexes on them. It's the funniest shit. It, the whole show should be reclassed as a comedy. Strip out everyone else having a plot. I mean, it's a good show, don't get me wrong. But strip out everyone else having a plot, call it Flexnor and Friends, and it's a comedy. Just just watch any of the bits involving Escanor, the Lion Sin of Pride. It is the funniest shit I've ever seen in, in, in animes in a while. I, I do love Flexinor. It is because, like I said, th th there's there, there there is an instance where it's like, oh, you can't be angry. I'm gonna do this, and you can't be angry. Well, why would I be angry? I literally cannot be angry. You are you are a tiny ant. In other shows, it's like a boast of power. It's like, oh, I'm so much stronger than you. Let me show you how strong I am. But whenever he does it, the voice actor is so good at, and the animation is so good at conveying the emotion of, it is generally not, oh, I look down upon you, let me prove it, I'm, I'm gonna defeat you. It's literally just, no, I'm better than you. It is just fact. It is just fact. Oh, you can do, I can't do X? Who said that? Uh, I can't do Y? Who said that? Oh, you win because of this? Who said that? And it's never like a, oh, I'm gonna tap into my inner reserves and beat you. It's just literally, they do something and he's just always, who said that? He, like he almost always feels pity for his opponent. Like who keeps lying to these people? Who keeps telling my opponents that they get to beat me doing this? It's the funniest shit. Yeah, zero sass. There, there's no ill will behind it. There is no, I must prove I'm better than you. There's just straight faced fucking declaration of who said like almost confusion. Oh, I can't beat you because of X, Y, and Z. Who said that? <laughs> who has lied to you? I, I genuinely, like I said, if you don't wanna watch the show, that's fine. I'm not saying the show is bad. The show is good, but the rest of it fits a certain trope and I can understand why people might not wanna watch it. Fine. If nothing else, find the clips on YouTube. Watch anything involving Flexinor. Now, not spoiler, because of I've declared already that 
Uh, this is what he does to everything. The literal, like, end of the manga anime pulls up another Flexinor type situation. It's just the funny, like, all the way to the end. He just always gets to be, who said that? I'm not going to say what the situation is. I'm not going to say any of the details, but it is the rule of Flexinor. Who said that? It, and it's funnier every fucking time. Every fucking time he gets to say that phrase. It's just the funniest damn shit. Yeah, he's, he's just he's just truthful. Ah, but then of course that that person comes out with a sniper rifle and just kills him in one shot. That's crazy. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Please do not hate on me. Um, does that door need to be wider? I think this door needs to be a little wider. Sniper rifles wouldn't kill flexible. <laughs> no, but, um, thing is, though, like I said, the manga ended, and one of the big, if you're following any news where they talk about manga information and shit like that, the big thing in the news right now, so avoid anything where they mention the manga, is the Flexinor scene. Flexinor being Flexinor. That's kind of why I brought it up. It, it's it's humorous. I cannot, so, but, there is another season of The Seven Deadly Sins about to come out next anime cycle. So maybe, hopefully, we'll get another Flexinor scene. I hope it doesn't take two seasons of the anime. Yeah, see, at midnight, he's not Flexinor. He, he acts the exact opposite at night. He literally physically changes. He goes from like this big beefy dude with head and shoulders above everyone else. I mean, the dude looks like he's like bred with a giant. He's humongous. You see like, oh, this big person. He's like, oh, I'm taller than people. And then it's like fucking 1155 and you see Eskinor enter the field. And he like, the other dude comes up to like, his waist and Flexnor looks yacked on top of this. He just, his muscles just grow. He's like, Ugh. that's Flexnor. You get around midnight, the dude looks like he's four foot zero, 50 pounds wet. And he's, he's just the nerdiest little, like, no, please. I'm a good guy. Why is everyone mean to me? No, please. Like, I couldn't hurt you if I wanted to. Why are you talking to me? It's the funniest shit. It's really like, in terms of them doing characters that are supposed to be overpowered or weak, I like that. He is defined from the beginning as being way the fuck too overpowered. And his trade-off is, is it's only during noon. Now, there are other shows that have done things like that. We're like, oh, if you if planets aligned and he gets a power up. No, this is just like a regularly scheduled thing. It's like, you knew this was coming. Why did you decide to do it at this point? Oh, I'm going to beat him. I don't know why you keep determining this. I really don't. And his power, his magic power, um, not like the source of his magic, but one of his abilities, he just summons a tiny sun. He throws suns at people because his power is the sun and the sun is his power. He goes, evil sun and he just makes a sun and he just lobs it at people it's not like super quantum extreme solar blast literally he just goes evil sun and he throws a sun at people with his pointer that's when he's not bludgeoning them physically he just Meh. evil sun Meh. what are you doing evil sun Meh. Like, he gives no effort in his fights, and he just slaughters everything. It's funny as hell. Immediate stupidly overpowered main that ruins the potential of it being a multi-seasonal anime. I know the show you're talking about. I know the exact show you're talking about. Children come from another world, don't they? That was a good show, I thought. 
I kind of wanted to see if they could continue it, and then it just seemed to stop, I think, like nine tenths through, through the season. Like, I didn't see a proper end to that. That one I will half spoil because it's absurdly short, as far as I'm aware. Maybe they did another season or something, and I never noticed it. And it was, it was just kind of humorous. They tried to do the same thing, but they didn't write a character that could carry that. For, there's an afterlife, there's different gods, and then for some reason, from different worlds, they bring these children. They're like, these children are gonna help us fight for a, 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 an orphanage in the afterlife or some stupid nonsense. And they each have a, a power and it's supposed to be like, oh, we can defeat our enemies. We are overpowered in our niches. And then you have the main male character is just I some, kind of like the idea of Flexinor without any time-based thing. And you never see him do it. At least not that I remember. The first scene that this happens is it's like, oh, he wandered off. And the two girls are sitting there with the bunny babysitter. The bunny babysitter turns around and she's like, where'd the main character go? Or the male main character? And you're like, I don't know. We're, we're not his fucking, we're not here to watch him. He's just, he's left. She goes, oh no, he better not go that way. That's where a fucking water snake god is. And she gets there and she sees the water snake god. She's like, oh good, I got here before he got himself in trouble. And then she gets close and water snake god's like, I can't believe you beat me. And then he's like, or I can't believe you're about to beat me or something stupid. And then he does an attack and the guy punches him. It's like the premise, I loved that thing. And the, I forget what the power of the females were. Like they each had pretty unique things. I think one of the females, you like, she told you to do something, you just did it. A la Code Geass, kind of except for maybe I'm wrong and thinking of a different show. Like it had a good setup, but then it just never paid it off. Yeah, like One Punch Man, but written way the fuck worse. He's just like this weird teenage kid who's just snotty. And it's just like no explanation of why he's that strong, where it came from. I was like, I kind of wanted them to keep going just because I wanted to see if they would ever explain what the hell was going on. Well, I mean, well, yeah, no, that one only had like, I think like seven episodes. So not even a full season. Like I, maybe it had a season and I don't remember the end. I genuinely think that one stopped mid season. Like, um, there was an anime about Nintendo and Sega fighting each other. That went into that for five episodes, four episodes. The plot was good because it was stupid, but it was good. Uh, it's kind of like an anime happening this season called Akudama Drive. Has anyone seen Akudama Drive? Yeah, the OP characters ruin so many M exactly. That's why I like it when they really correctly write it, an OP character. One Punch Man, that's a good show. It's a good show because he's overpowered and you know what it is, but there's two important distinctions about that show. One, or three, sorry, three important distinctions. One, the main character does not want to be overpowered. He kind of doesn't even understand why he's overpowered. He definitely has no clue what the hell is going on. Two, no one else in the show seems to know he's overpowered. So part of the plot line is people figuring out he's overpowered. Three, the episode is not about him fighting the monster. The episode is about watching everyone else try to beat the monster until he shows up. That's why that show worked. You get like, it, it, he is an OP character, but that's not the point. The point is him trying to get recognition to be a hero that gets to fight for fun. So that works. Flexinor is kind of funny because Flexinor is not even the main character. He's like one of the main group, but he's not the main character. The main character is a little blonde kid. It's the easiest way to describe him without spoiling things. It's a little blonde kid. That's the main character, not Flexinor. Flexinor is just like the secondary character in his group. He's just there. And then just every now and then he shows up and just beats the fuck out of something. It's like, whoa, okay. <laughs> it's like, why Why did that just happen? Like any, any episode he's in is essentially a, uh, it might as well be a filler episode just the best type of filler episodes. Whatever happens there, 
you just, you know, as soon as you see the fight starting, Plexinor wins. The rest of the episode is already set in stone. At this point, you're just grabbing popcorn to watch the show. The next episode, you can get back to the plot. <laughs> Exactly, as satire. Flex is an anime? Flexinor? It is not past my bedtime. I can ship as late as I want. How you doing, Blood Angel? But, um... Stupid shows. Akadama Drive. I would suggest if you have nothing better to do one of these days, like not a thing to actively go out of your way for, I mean, maybe, but if you're like, man, I'm kind of bored, what should I do? Watch Akadama Drive. I'm not saying it's a great show. I'm not saying you're gonna come back and be like, thank you. Thank you for showing me this show. You have changed my life. There's not. It tries to have everyone is kind of an ill-defined, overpowered character. They best part is the main character the main character is this female and she's not it's like the anti overpowered character everyone else that she's with is some super overpowered character that can do some bullshit ability or has bullshit attributes associated with them and somehow the female lead of this gets wrapped up in this and suffers consequences the entire time that's really it it, 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 it's like randomly you're in a group fighting and ignore that they hate each other but let's say on the left side of your group you have superman zod one punch man the right side of your group you have batman 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 do you think your group is going to lose no the group is probably not going to lose now who are you that's a good question you're fucking velma you are Velma from Scooby fucking do. You have nothing to you. And then somehow all the, like by the end of it, everything's gotten so twisted, the police are trying to arrest Velma. Like imagine that there's a police force dedicated to taking in and arresting Superman, Zod, and fucking One Punch Man, and then a secondary group that takes out the Batmans. And for some reason, the whole thing is set up so all these police forces want to arrest Hiya. you. Velma. I have a YouTube break in two minutes. And I don't want to grow up. But what the reason what sells this is not that, oh, everyone else is overpowered, the main character isn't. That's not what sells this. What sells it is, is that the main character herself is so fucking stupid she herself thinks that she's like needing to be under arrest in the latest episode they reveal her cost her bounty and it's like the highest bounty in the entire show like all these evil criminals like oh this guy's worth six thousand this guy's worth four billion fucking she goes to buy something it's like oh my god here's the super criminal you must arrest her this chick's done nothing nothing her entire life she's done like one crime and it was not even a legit crime it was misunderstanding and she's like the number one most wanted person in the entire fucking world for no reason that's how goofy it gets it's, it's, it's like what the hell's going on right now I like it. It's fucking stupid, though. Hold on. For those of you who are watching on the YouTube archive when I upload it, who have no intention to watch that show anyways, because by the time I get this uploaded, it'll probably be two seasons from now. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys next time.